but you want the village to mind their business when it comes to you raising your child. You can raise your child however you, you want to raise. <laughs> but when we don't want to help you when it comes to whatever your daughter has gotten herself into, your son right. has gotten himself into, right. then we have the right to, and you should not be upset because guess what? You rejected us first. Yep. You already rejected the help, so we're not coming back to help. Common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't. Well, common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't coming. Common sense ain't. Well. Hey, what do you do? It's your girl J Queen the Goddess. And I am King Richard. And this is Common Sense Ain't Common. So, what are we here to talk about today, baby? Today we're here to talk about a very, very special and important topic, which is parenting. Something we know a little bit about. Just, just a little bit. A little, a lot of bit. A lot of bit. Okay. A lot of bit, okay? Okay. Okay. So, let's give us a, a little rundown about why we have so much knowledge about parenting. And experience. Don't forget and experience. And all of that. All of that in between. Go ahead. Okay. Well, basically... Um, we're professionals. Pro. Um, without having a degree, you don't need a degree to be a, a parent anyway, you but don't. you do need knowledge, you need experience to be a good parent. And I think lately our parenting is taking like leaps and bounds because of the working together, the togetherness, the, the, the unique style that we parent in. Uh, not quite Will and Jada, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, just overall, I think it, I think we've set the tone to use a little bit of old school traditional ways and also new school, new school ways. New school ways. Like you don't always have to just put the, just go one way or the other way. It can right. always be like meet in the uh, middle, middle uh -huh. and you know and go from there. So right. it's like so instead of thinking about it like oh I have to do everything and you need to do this and you it, instead of putting so many rules and, and so roles. many roles on different people understand and come together understand each other and come together about whatever solution it is about teaching you know uh, just, what's what's allowed what's not allowed uh, right you know things of that nature so um I think what got us to this point um as far as this conversation being uh, relevant right now, it's seeing everywhere we go, we see a lot of kids not disciplined, um, you know, whether it's social media or whether it's in person in stores. And our kids will normally look at these kids and look like, wow, I can't believe you're acting like that in here. Even one time, one of our children said, what's wrong with that boy? Why is he acting like that? And his daddy looked at me like, why are you going to let your daughter, you're going to allow your daughter to say that? But I'm thinking to myself, you know, kids speak freely. You know, right. they say they keep it real. They are very honest. So right, they're not like born to lie. Right. Like kids keep it one hundred. <laughs> right, that's like that's why we can talk to kids. We keep it one hundred. Kids right, right. keep it one hundred too. So right, like, you know, and by us having so many kids, like <laughs> we got a football. Okay, no, we have six children, and for everybody, actually, before I even had kids, I was always taking care of like somebody's child. Right. Like always, from nine years old till I refused. <laughs> to... You've been around them forever, and understanding them, molding them, growing them, things of that nature. So you have a lot of experience before you even had your even own. Even ha even had my own. So I had a whole lot of experience before I even had my own. So when I had my own, I actually had new experiences because. They were, they were my own. Right. And I had to learn how to understand. And we had to come together on that. Because right, right. we grew up differently. Right. In La La Land on both ends, though. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, by us trying to come together and learn new things for the children, understand for them and also teach with them and help them and things like that. I feel like we are great people to talk about children, talk about parenting, talk about the right way to go, how to do certain things, not necessarily just giving advice, but just imparting wisdom from our experience, basically. Yeah. That's like, basically what it comes down to. You know, to. like our lesson learned, a lot of things that parents don't like they go through, but people tell them that they're wrong for going through. And it's like, no, if they're consistently going through it, then it's a problem. Right. But once you conquer whatever issue that you have within your children, within a, your life, anything, you know, you'll have that. And what I really want to know from anybody, please, can somebody please tell me why so many of y'all kids 
are trailing behind y'all when y'all go somewhere. Little bitty kids, y'all walk out of the store and they're, they're trailing behind, behind you. Behind you, not in... They're not in front of you, like, they're not beside you, they're not in your arms. And it's like, you think that's okay. And then if somebody, you know how bad drivers, you know how bad the drivers are in Memphis, we have documented that. Um, <laughs> but these drivers are, are very impatient, they're very rude, they're very reckless. And I would think that y'all would have a little more care and understanding that these drivers are that way and you know be considerate of your children and keep them close to you because it's a lot of children you know you get mad when it when somebody drives fast in the parking lot which i understand but then your child is nowhere near you and it's like you're just not watching your children you don't watch your children anyway when you have them and you really don't watch them when you go into the stores and things of that nature and, that and be it's very like troublesome. i do want to point out something like on social media, the women that have their children all up and down their timeline are the same women don't have their kids. I know some of y'all. You would think a lot of these women have their children all the time. I know a lot of y'all. Like you love your child so much, but when I actually, in experience of other people around, when I actually go around these children, they're never around their parents. Never. And there's always an excuse. And this is the biggest excuse that I do hate. I work, I work, I work, I work. You can work, but when y'all not at work. Where's where's your child? Why your child is not with you? Your child is somewhere at everybody's house. And your then, child always is somebody else's house begging for their mama or their dad or whoever is that they're in like care with. And y'all have the advice, the greatest advice for everybody mm -hmm. but your damn self. Y'all don't have y'all kids like that. And you I don't. feel like it's so unfair to sit here and watch y'all on social media, show y'all selves to be this great parent. Oh, my child is going to Disney World. My child's going here, 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 here. But you never have your child. They say, Ever. and then they'll say, oh, yeah, they're going to Disney World because I work, 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 work hard. Right. So you're paying Why? your child off. You basically, yeah, basically paying your child off. Right. You so you don't give that child none of your time none. until you decide you want to do this big extravaganza. And that's really more so for show sure because you want to brag about what you do as a parent, and it's like you don't do the number one thing, which is spend quality time with your children. And, and yeah, that's you why don't, they act the way they act. Right. You know, and our our children, you know are looking at these children going like what's wrong with them we have yeah. to explain to them like you know everybody's not raised the same of course we understand that and we make sure that we educate them on differences between uh yeah because you have children and in one genders and things right, of that nature but right. the problem is these children are just bad and you keep saying how the school system has failed them but the school system is mostly ran by parents and there also isn't enough part uh, parent participation in within, it, yeah, it. within their own children. Right, my mom used to come up to the school if she had to, work or no work. She had, to, she, if she had to, she'd come up to the school, and it was just gonna make her mad because then she got to take out work and make some money. So, you know, it, we don't really have that as much now as we used to or we should, and we definitely need that because even when we were, uh, when our son was in softball, you know, some parents were not into their children's extracurricular activities, right. you know? And it's very sad to see children out there who don't have a positive male role model or a quality loving mother and things of that nature. It could be really right. detrimental and harmful to them going forward. Right. In certain right. situations, like you see mothers not liking their daughters, not liking their children, period. But we are supposed to be like, oh, well, she's going through something. Let her go through something. But when it comes to these fathers, we don't even know the full situation of the fathers. But we don't get that we automatically chance. he's automatically a deadbeat if mm -hmm. she says it. It's not it's not if we see it or not. It's if she says it. And I feel like it's unfair for us to continually bash the deadbeats because there are deadbeats. Your mothers are deadbeats, too. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of these situations, when you look at it with these children being the way that they are and y'all don't discipline them and then y'all want a village. You want you say you want a village, but you, don't want want the, a village. but you don't want the village to discipline your child. You want your, your child to be king of all kings and do what the hell they want to do. Right. But you don't realize grown up started children first. Right. If you teach a child 
to be a good person in life and grow. And you actually show that with your child. They're going to do that in life. But look at these little girls shaking their butt on on uh, camera, on camera. Media. Where did they get that from? They surely they didn't get it from nowhere. They, you, and from they say, oh, these kids be watching stuff mm-hmm. that, that they mamas and daddies don't know about it. The problem is they don't know about it. Why don't you know about your child's history of what they watching? Because we they monitor. See what you, we monitor our children's All history. The time. Bad kids. We don't need bad kids around our good kids. That's basically what most good parents want to want to say to y'all, but they can't say to y'all because they're scared. Well, I ain't scared. I don't want bad. Kids I don't want my, my kids. No, I'm gonna say this. I don't <laughs> want my good kids because I'm raising my children to be good children. Right. Good. Good in life. Stand good. Up no matter if no citizens in what America. What we say. No matter if nobody nobody's watching. Still do the right thing. Right. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. So if you if I see your child doing the wrong thing all the time and you justify it, mm-hmm. guess what? I don't want my child hanging around your child. At all. He can't come to the birthday and parties. Then, he can't spend a night. He can't he can't uh play water guns with little 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 junior and them. Uh it's not happening. No. Nah, no. Nah. And then if your child is out here starting fires and and, <laughs> and y'all wanna sit here and invite people to the party, no, nah, it don't work like that. No. I don't I don't like your kid because first of all, your kid <laughs> out here starting fires. I don't like you because y'all ain't rectified the situation because the child's still out here starting fires. Firefighter, like, yeah. like, come on now, yeah. like, let's be real. And this is based off a real situation. Yeah. So I'm just stating the facts of why our good children, like adults like us, keep mm-hmm. away our children from adults like you and your child let's because not, your child resembles you. Let's not forget we were once told that we had, we our, had kids our, chi- <laughs> we had our kids we, too much. We have now we're their parents, but we up. had them too much. We have our children too much. Too much now. Now, my, my, mind you, most most people will say uh, that y'all are dropping out and yeah, the kids you drop your kids off with everybody, everybody and, because the the same person that said that or people that said that. They so, don't never have their kids. Never. Never. So let's let's let's. You stay see out. them, you ain't gonna see their kids. You ain't gonna see their kid. That's a rarity. Right. So let's go. Like, but for <laughs> you to tell somebody that you had your kids too much, something wrong with you. Right. Because as a parent, when you birth, when my child came out of me, mm-hmm. that's a hundred percent my 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 responsibility. Uh, responsibility. Yep. Same as yours. Right. Hundred percent on both ends. Both ends. So nobody else is obligated to take care of our child or children. Right. Nobody else but us. So for you to say you have your kid too much, you don't, have, you don't have your kid enough. Yeah, obviously. It don't, it don't make no sense for you to tell somebody that they had a kid too much. That's a problem. Big That's problem. a problem. And you have to look at yourself on the inside about what you need to do with your life. Because apparently something going on wrong with you. Your kid should be number one priority. Number one priority. Whatever you need to do, get them, get them right. We can be co-parenting with people mm-hmm. right now if they would have been good people Could've with been. us. Could have been, but they didn't want to. Because we were, we, we worried about the ch- child. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Is the child. The child. Now switching gears on that same subject just a little bit, we must talk about the whole thing about the village. Remember we was talking about that. Yeah. Uh, and we were saying how. People claim to want the help of a village, but they get mad when that village is trying to help them. So it's like it's like a, a double-edged sword. For instance, uh, everybody gets these Amber Alerts that come through on your phones. They they pop up at 3 in the morning, and you're like, oh, my God, the house is on fire. That's the fire alarm, but it's not. It's a darn Amber Alert of somebody's missing child. Someone's loving baby is missing, yes. and we all feel so sorry, and you must help them. However... You want me to help you find this child that is missing? Half of them run away. Half of them run away. Running with and some of them are and... actually taken. Right, but but let's go with the ones that are true runaways. Runaways. To, or, or 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 should I say the ones that that have that have 
Are got, potentially to run. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, got lost in some kind of way. Yeah, just <laughs> some lost form their of way fashion. home. But the problem is that when you, when we get these Amber Alerts, you want everybody on the internet. You want everybody in the community. You want us to help you out. To Search band for your child. together. Come together. You know, do every Because you know we, we, we all about children. You right. want us to come together, help you help when it comes to children, your child. Help with the babies. But when your child is young, we're telling you that you're allowing your child to be an adult too soon. Right. You're a 10-year-old child walking around with halter tops, weave down her booty crack, uh, t <laughs> nails all right. the way out, way past mine. And she's like, getting pursued by grown, grown men who men. don't know how old she is. Y'all want to get mad at us for expressing how we see that your ch child look, your daughter looked like an older woman and she's 10 and she don't supposed to look like that. At all. Your, your, they may have developed boobies at such Early, a young age, right. but your 15 year old should not look like a 25 year old. Right. And definitely shouldn't be, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do a certain adult behaviors around them. Your 15 year old shouldn't have on a full face of makeup. Never. Just like this. Not, That's not too a, much. I've seen 11, 10, 15, 14. I yep. seen it all. And here it is. People, men have actually spoke up and, and said something. something about your daughters looking like right. that. Or and then you call them pedophiles. You call them pedophiles. That's not right. The, because we you. are actually telling you, trying to right. prevent. Prevent. We're trying to prevent them from being runaways or, or being pursued by older men and they're actually going with older men. We're trying right. to prevent that. And you're actually don't, you don't care. You don't care because if you did, your daughters would not be out here looking like you. Right. And mind you, these are the same, the same men that y'all say are pedophiles, creepy, weird, and all this stuff are the same men y'all are looking for when that Amber Alert comes through. You're looking for the village to help when there's a white van about to snatch your child or about to do organ harvesting or whatever. But you want the village to mind their business when it comes to you raising your child. You can raise your child however and you want to raise. <laughs> but when we don't want to help you when it comes to whatever your daughter has gotten herself into, your son right. has gotten himself into, right. then we have the right to and you should not be upset because guess what? You rejected us first. Yep. You already rejected the help. So we're not coming back to help. At and all. people should not get upset at that. Because guess what? We already came to help and save. And you did not allow yeah. us. So guess what? Now yeah. your daughter is 16 missing. Not missing, but shacked up somewhere. Yeah. And, and come back with kids. And then here y'all are mad at them. And guess what? The cycle continues because you did the same thing. And on that note, the sons too. Y'all always want black men to step in and... And, and help when it's a uh, march or something, protest or whatever, mm -hmm. when it's a Black Lives Matter thing. Why? You don't like, all your posts on social media are down in black men. Why would I come to your rescue? And it's not just that. It's also like consistently telling your sons that, oh, you just like your daddy. Yeah. Why, why you as a woman get with his father? If and blame like him to be because he's like his father. Right. Stop doing that, women. Stop doing that, men. Men, stop getting upset at your children because they look like the mother or act like the mother. Y'all laid down with the mother. Right. Y'all laid down right. with the father. Y'all need to stop complaining about what y'all done, the decisions y'all made, and actually make it right for these children and stop bringing these children into fucked up situations. Yeah, because like I said, if it's about the children, let it be about the children. But at the same time, as y'all, y'all are the parents, y'all are the guardians, you know, and y'all have a responsibility and a duty to do what you feel is in the best interest of that child. And no one should really truly interfere with that. But at the same time, if I can't have a say so, not a say so, but if I can't have an opinion about what you're doing that's causing harm later on um, in the black community, then you can't expect me to help because I'm. Prevention is better than working on a, a problem after the fact. And then guess what? You have to undo the problem that you cannot undo. Some of these problems, Some can't, of these be, problems can't be undone. Guess what? Some of them come home with kids. What can you do about that now? It's too late. Too late. Too late for that. So we could have prevented that from her seeing certain things, having a social media at such a young age because the social media is dominated by adults. Right. So, so there's going to be adult content right. on Right. Right. I mean, they don't need one. 
Like, not, they don't have a reason it's, to. I mean, they got kids, YouTube. They got kids, a lot like, of kids. Like, got a lot of things for but, kids. It could be more. It and could I, definitely I, and be TikTok more. was for children. It was, but, but, uh, but as you can see, it's dominated by adults now. Mainly so now, dominated by now, nasty ass women. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of women, a lot of adult sexual content on there, and it's and not being made by males. It's, it's not wrong to take your children off that app. It's not wrong. They'll live. To. Actually, is, is there another app, uh, another social like little app for children? That if they there can is, use? y'all can drop it in the comments and let us know that there's. Something. Let other adults know. Right, so they can promote that to their kids and they can. Because have, I really feel like TikTok so, is not for children because not certain anymore. videos, e certain videos even with uh, children's accounts, it still pops up and you see things that you you already know your children shouldn't be watching. Right, right, right. So uh, that's about all we got today. So. Tell us what you think about this video. Um, you want to see us cover certain topics, certain topics that you may like, and we're going to come yeah. at it from a common sense standpoint. standpoint. We're going to come at it with logic. I know that's hard to believe for most of y'all people because y'all hate logic, but hey, we're going to have to, somebody got to do it. I mean, right. right. I mean, there's always the bad, there's always the good, there's right. always the middle. There is no middle for most people. That's and the problem. We're the middle. All right, anyway, thank you for watching. This is Common. Sense. Ain't. Common. Like, share, comment. Subscribe. All that. All right, and also make sure you listen to our new music that's coming out. And then the last song that's on this, on the song on that, yeah, download it. KME. KME, J Queen, the Goddess, King Richard, we out. Hello, welcome to another episode. Wait, I did it wrong. <laughs> what up, everybody? It's your boy, King Richard, and welcome to another episode of... You forgot to introduce me? Why would I introduce you? You said King <laughs> Richard, dumbass. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Oh, All, right. All right. We got this. Hello, and welcome to... What was that? <laughs> oh, you got lipstick on your teeth. It distracted me. Why are you saying... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and I would like to introduce myself. You my know what? I'm doing introduction. You? Hey, <laughs> hey, you wasn't ready. <laughs> no. I'm doing introduction. No. I gotta know. No. No. The middle ground. But anyway, it's just common. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> common. It's just common. And this is J Queen and Goddess. I am King Richard. And this is Jay Queen. My mic. <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> <laughs> Go ahead. Go. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs>